South Africa's Mkontowe Seasway Party, or MK, has said it will join an opposition alliance in Parliament. That's after the African National Congress and its largest rival, the pro-business Democratic Alliance, agreed to work together in what they're calling a government of national unity. That's an uneasy partnership, bringing together the liberation movement that freed South Africa from apartheid with a party that has struggled to shed its image as a defender of white privilege. MK, led by former president Jacob Zuma, came a surprisingly strong third in the May 29th election that saw the ANC lose its majority. On Sunday, Zuma described the new government, which also includes two smaller parties, as a white-led, unholy alliance. They decide to put our country as if it's at war. We now need it to be together so that we can have a, a government of national unity. That is meaningless, it says nothing. MK's lawmakers had boycotted the first sitting of parliament after filing a complaint at South Africa's top court alleging vote rigging. The court dismissed that complaint as without merit. The Independent Electoral Commission has also said the election was free and fair. MK spokesperson Lamelo Ndlela said MK had decided to take up its 58 seats in the 400-seat National Assembly after receiving legal advice. It would, he said, continue to raise its allegations of a rigged election in Parliament and the courts. This united effort is necessary because the 2024 election has also resulted in the consolidation of right-wing and reactionary forces who are opposed to economic freedom, racial economic transformation, racial equality, and land repossession. Ndalela said that MK would be joining an alliance called the Progressive Caucus. It includes the Marxist economic freedom fighters and the centre-left United Democratic Movement. And, Ndalela said, commands close to 30% of the seats in the National Assembly.